rappers. I don't talk to no motherfucking niggas, no bitches, no none of that. I talk to the guys and the goddesses. And when I see bitches and niggas, I try to let them know they guys and goddesses. And if they want to continue to converse like bitches and niggas, I can't continue to gotta get you out of my space. I don't give a fuck. Family, friend, or foe. You hear me? Family, friend, or foe. The three F's. You can be either family, friend, or foe. And if your ass ain't vibrating right, your ass is getting the fuck away from me. I don't give a fuck what you are. Family, friend, or foe. You hear me? Nobody's safe when it comes to vibrating low. Don't vibrate low around me. I don't want to hear about low vibrational shit. It's a way you can vent, though. And we can constructively build off of that. You know, you got to let that out. But you're not just going to come dump a bunch of negative. Oh, I don't even want to hear it. I'm not even picking up the phone for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Family members know not to even call me with that shit. You see what I'm saying? Nigga, call me if you need help with a bill or something. You feel me? Call me if you need help or you need advice about life. Call me when you want to be taught some shit. Call me if you need some ass kicked. All right? Call me for anything but do not call me with no bullshit. I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? You can't. I'm trying to tell you. My mom be trying to do that shit. So I'm like, look, mom. Sometimes I sit. I got a text. Hey, how you doing? Shit, because I don't know what you on. Your text going to let me know your conversation. If you trying to gossip about my auntie and my auntie want to call me and gossip about you, I ain't trying to hear y'all shit. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear it. We, now we can talk about scheduling. Well, these gusher buds, fat as hell. Look at this. We can talk about scheduling a family reunion. You feel me? We can do some constructive. We can build constructively. Motherfucker, you ain't just finna. <laughs> y'all feel me out there, reflections. I can feel y'all laughing at the crib. I be feeling y'all frequencies. Yeah, we can build constructively. You ain't just finna call me dumping a bunch of bullshit on me. And I'm trying to teach y'all that in here. Don't let no motherfucker step on your energy. You motherfucker just all on your energy. You get what I'm saying? Motherfucker just all on your motherfucking energy. Motherfucker be all on your shit. Motherfucker be James Brown on your shit. You feel me? You feel me? All on your energy. You gotta know. No. No. No, we not doing that. We not do. We just gonna be mad at me. I ain't picking up. I ain't responding to no text, nigga. I'm D and D. You as soon as I see you, up D and D. I ain't fucking with you. You fucked it up for everybody today. You fucked it up. I'm on D and D right now. I've been on D and D like four days right now, y'all. But no motherfuckers can't get through. They did. We got through. I'm on D and D. Now, if you wanna build, we in the middle of war, nigga. We can build. I ain't trying to hear about no other shit. You feel you want to manifest? We can manifest. We can talk manifesting, building up. We can talk about companies. We can talk about creating generational wealth. We can do all that. We need. That's all a part of the rise. You get what I'm saying? But if we ain't talking about that, I smoke too much weed. I get too high. I stay feeling too good. A lot of y'all be like, man, I love your energy. I be high. Nigga, I be feeling good. I don't be tripping about nothing. You get what I'm saying? I be. I smoke too much. I'm like a roster now, y'all. I'm telling you, I be laid back. Man, nigga, I be like, this one was missing. I didn't smoke like this when I was younger. Nigga smoked the blunt, two blunts. Niggas going half on a 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't have it like that. You know? But if we did, man, them nigga be cool. A lot of y'all just need to smoke. That's some real shit. Like when Cat Williams said that, that's the realest shit they could ever. That wasn't no joke. That was some real life shit. Yeah. Niggas need to get high. Y'all ass be out there tripping. I told my auntie that, like, listen, you've been a Sunday school teacher 30, 40, 50, 60, 73 years, and you and my uncle, you and my mama, y'all still beefing up. You get what I'm saying? I love both of y'all to death. You get what I'm saying? Even though we know death ain't real and love ain't with it, you know. But listen, y'all. Y'all are the examples of what happened to motherfuckers that don't get high enough. I'm cool. <laughs> you feel me, babe? I'm cool. I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? But y'all are an example for me of what happened to motherfuckers that don't get high enough. You get what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be having all type of shit on their brain. They be stressing about bills. 
And next thing you know, motherfuckers ain't got nobody else to take it out on. So now they take it out on their family, their boyfriend, their girlfriends. That's really what it be, y'all. It be a lot of nothing. You hear me? Motherfuckers just get some of this good old gushers in their system. Motherfuckers be good out there. You know what I'm saying? Because when you getting high, you, you don't have no time to be on up nothing else. Like, I ain't trying to argue with you, nigga. I'm cooling right now. I'm chilling. Like, you be chilling. Like, you don't even be on no aggressive shit. Because, you know, we all got that warrior in our soul naturally. We Anunnakaj. They ain't took everything from us, nigga. So we already naturally like, nigga, I'll fuck something up right this bitch, nigga. You feel me? We already like that. So niggas just need to chill out, roll up, and we're going to get through this shit. Because, you know, this is designed for us to detonate. Because y'all know I detonate. I detonate quick on the motherfucker. I be trying to be cool. So I told myself, I said, you know what? Moving forward, I'm, I I got to remember that some, it's a time and place for everything. I be in 24-7 war mode, so that's why I be just detonating like that. You get what I'm saying? I be 24-7, nigga, yeah. You, you see who in here with me? You see who in here with me? Ogun. Ogun. You might call it Ogun. I call him Ogun. You hear me? Some call him Ogun. You see who in here with me? You hear me? So, you know, I, my, I be in 24-7, you know, and luckily, you know, we was up in the Candace Major fucking around. We great like that, though. That's what I'm saying. We natural, the scientists, man. We was up and listen, man. We was in the Candace Major fucking around, and we put this batch together. We was in the Candace Major fucking around, and we fucked around. Because we created a lot of shit. And we put this batch together. Gushers. We put this batch together. You know, it's one of the greatest things we could have ever did, y'all. I'm just being real. We made a lot of things. But up in that cannabis major, when we put that cannabis together, that was really for, you know, we know who it was for. It was for the human beings to help decalcify. Calcified. You know what I'm saying? So, but with us, you know, it still it still works with us too, though. You know, because we was building off it. I talked about this in past lectures, reflections. I, I honestly did. You know, this 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 shit is real. That's why they didn't want niggas getting high. <laughs> Told dumb niggas, dumb as niggas get smart when they get off, they hit the gas. I'm trying to ain't never said an intellectual in his life. He hit that gas. He turned into young, young Rashad Jamal around this motherfucker. He get to give y'all last a three-hour sermon. You know. Y'all know. And the elders in the university, they don't get high no more. Don't act like y'all ain't never smoked this gas. Y'all just smoked this gas. That's how, that's how y'all knew not y'all ain't want to smoke it no more. That's why we could never get nothing past our parents, y'all. Because they ass was already didn't get high before. You know? I'm grown now. I don't even play that shit with my kids. Man, they know I smoke. I don't even play none of that. I get high in front of them. You hear me? Like, I ain't had none from my babies. You hear me? I'm going to talk to them about everything. Because they got internet now, y'all. We That's what's wrong. You can't be trying to hide nothing from your... You lose respect, nigga. Can't even respect you. Because they like, oh, my, 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 my dad ain't even real. You sitting there trying to lie. You lying to a motherfucker. You ain't even keeping it real. And they are already on the internet with all this no cap. No cap. My daughter 11. She be no cap. I be looking back like... No cap. You know about some no cap. You know what I'm saying? And I, we not old parents ourselves, so it really be, I still say no cap. My damn self. So the shit is crazy like that. But yeah, though, you know, I can't be lying. Now my daughter looking at us like, I mean, he be capping. Pops ain't, <laughs> Pops ain't real. He be in the crib capping, man. I ain't fucking with him. You can't be lying to y'all. I'm not going to be looking fake on no level. <laughs> the adults, the kids, that'll never be on my reputation. My kids going to grow up and be like, listen, all right, my daddy had no filter. He hit nothing. He talked. And I tell them that. They come talk to me, let me know when his little boys, when little boys like them and everything. Yes, that's what I need to know. That door is open because I open out to him. If you shut up, don't say anything. Be quiet. Go to your room. You know what I'm saying? No relationship is there. You got this big Hulk Hogan relationship with a motherfucker. You coming in. 
do what I told you to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't gotta even be like that. They got feelings too, you feel me? You gotta communicate. Communicate your issues, you know what I'm saying? That way, you got this type of bond with your kids. Because I think about, like, me growing up. Like, my mom was a great mom. Like, I come from a great upbringing, but I still... It was moments where I couldn't talk to her about shit. i like, damn, I can't say that. Mom's gone. You know what I'm saying? She gonna say no. Nah. She gonna say I'm tripping. Like, you don't want that bond. Because then the kid end up going to do the shit. I end up going to do certain things that I probably could have came to my mom or my... Or maybe, you know, my pops was... He was... My pops bought me shit, so he did what he could do, but he wasn't really there for no advice on the raising side. You know, I ain't, I ain't knocking him. I forgave him a long time ago. I love him. That's pops. You know what I'm saying? Nothing don't never change that. I appreciate what he did, but he wasn't there for that communicative type. You know, that, you know. And mom's was a, was a disciplinary. My mom was a motherfucking disciplinary. She went upside the heads, nigga. I got my ass with growing up, and I still in the many streets. That's what I'm trying to say, like, that don't change, like, I got, ex I had to experience shit. But yeah, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you want that bond with your child for those who got kids and for the youth that's on y'all way to having kids because y'all be out there fucking. And if you ain't in fucking range, then you know about fucking. I don't care if you six, these kids be on the internet, man. That's why y'all go wrong as parents. And then you hide shit from your kids, and now they looking at you once again. My mom, my dad, they be in the crib capping. <laughs> and now they ain't gonna tell you shit because they feel like they can't trust you. Now they listening to Lil Baby or these rappers or these Cardi B's, or they trust them more. They trust they. Now they on the internet with strangers, telling strangers, asking strangers for advice. You get what I'm saying? It's hella teenagers that get under my post. This I'm a stranger, and they ask me for advice. Luckily, I'm real, I point them in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's parents and then they ain't in the crib the right way. We we know why. We the we the we the 80s babies. These are our kids. When you talk about teenagers, these are our kids. See, if it, we was fucking young, we was fucking fucking. So we fucking got kids super motherfuckers 29, kid 20. Fuck how that happen. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you 29? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's real with, with the 80s generation, with the 80s babies. Like I know people in like that was 12. When we was growing up, they was having kids in the neighborhood. 11, 12 year old girls having been getting pregnant by niggas 23, 22. You know what I'm saying? Facts, like, I'm real, like, and it's just crazier now. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have social media. So communicate with your kids, man. Those of y'all who got kids, man, talk to them, man. Don't, don't let this social media beast, man, take them under the wave because that's what's raising our kids right now. Y'all keep coming on up here. I'm just rolling up. We ain't even got to the lecture yet. But that's what's raising the youth. You feel me? And for the youth that come in here, y'all in good hands. I'm damn near like a daddy to y'all little ass. You hear me? But I'll take it because if your daddy ain't in your life shit, then I am like a daddy to you right now. So, hey, y'all my kids too. I know it take a village to raise. You feel me? And I'm still the kids of all my elders, the 65 plus. I'm sweet. You give me it, you know, we we, we, we move together as a, as a cohesive unit. That don't take away from nobody's power. That doesn't depower you, you know. That doesn't take away from you being a, a god. I don't care if you eight, nine, three. You a god or a goddess, whatever age, because we know time ain't real. These are the age of your avatars. You know what I'm saying? So you know, keep that understood at all times. You know, vibrate at the highest of frequencies at all times. Period. You know, a lot is being revealed. And I'm glad we get we gathered on the website. We at 800 live viewers right now. That's dope. We ain't even started talking yet. We, we, we getting strong on the website. And now that I see y'all coming over here, guess what? I'm going to come on the website more. You feel me? That's all that is. I know some people, I don't want y'all feeling like, okay, what we on the website for if we ain't using it? Because my wife said that. She like, babe, why are we on the website if we ain't using it, babe? You ain't use the website, nigga. <laughs> You know what I mean? My wife keep it real with each other like that. She's nigga, babe. Cause she subscribed. She, babe, I'm subscribed. I'm supporting your ass too, nigga. You better use the motherfucking website. Fuck Instagram when they at. You feel me? Like, just kick it on Instagram. I be like, yeah, babe, you right. You right. That's some real shit. But I be so kind hearted trying to grab everybody. And my wife would be the one that got to be like, babe, you don't. You know what I'm saying? And I just my wife, my team. For real, like, even people know, like, it took me forever to accept donations. The people that's been in the university from Facebook day. They the ones made me accept the uh, donations, start the university. That was like a year for all that really hit that fan. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't be thinking like that. Now I get it. I'm like, okay, with all the trolls and the bullshit that he came with teaching publicly, I'm like, okay, now I see the, for the headache that it becomes like not with y'all. Nah, the good, genuine individuals. Nah, I love the people that I, I'm helping teach, and I learn from y'all as well. It, it, it worked both ways. I don't ever sit here and think I know it all. I, I'm reminding you of things that your soul don't understand because that's my soul mission, right? But at the end of the day, like I always told you, this is our information, you feel me? Yo, we living in a third density, so we got to play by certain rules until the whole matrix implode. And that's why if you understand that factor, you should be more than more ready than ever for this shit to get this shit over with. You get what I'm saying? This whole system of us having to pay for anything. You get what I'm saying? Even have to pay attention. You didn't have to do that when we had our crystal towers up. We had to use telepathy. Energy was too high. You ain't have to, you know what I'm saying? Energy fields was too high. That's why they had to create a false sense of time here because you are an ancient being. It's all a part of enslavement. They need you to run on a the frequency. They need to be able to control your, out, your output, your electrical output. Remember, everything you think, everything you do sends out an electrical imprint that, that, that is recorded on the Akashic Records. All right? Of the planet. I'm going to make a lecture about the Akashic Records. I ain't made a lecture just strictly on it, but it's coming up, though. All right? Oh, yeah. Everybody who got orders, we got the U we got UPS bus, and they was kind of being racist at first, but now UPS fucking with us. So we orders going out 24-7 all day. Well, I didn't even hire people to, like, run run stuff, like, pack all that. So it's, we literally 24-7 running now. You know, I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why I'm gonna be hiring more and more individuals, especially if you're in the Atlanta area. Reach out to me; you're a little easier to work with. But for those of you who not in the Atlanta area, I'm gonna be hiring people to do to help out the university because it's expanding like big. We are gonna have to definitely, you know, like I say, I'm willing to pay whoever I gotta pay because I understand we still, we in a matrix. So if I ask for your time, even though we know time don't exist, I understand you got kids or you got other things to do. So I'm gonna definitely compensate you. But let that let let that be known too. All right, I'm gonna probably make a separate post about it. But I be so absorbed in lectures, y'all. Let me sit down for a second. I be so absorbed in lectures or prepare for them, you know, so everything else is, like, new, you know, trying to, you know, get y'all certain things and stuff like that. That's all. This is kind of new. But we're going to get through it. We're getting through it together as a family. I appreciate y'all. You know, to me, this is the best part when I can sit here, roll up, lay back, and teach y'all something that y'all need to know. You know what I'm saying? Got the album on the way. I've been working hard on the album and the book filled with nothing but information. I'm finna drop a lot of books too. You know what I'm saying? Because now that they, since they want to play around on YouTube, that let me know we got to put books out. Which is my, which is actually, remember, I was locked up, y'all. And before I jail, I love writing. I actually write my rhymes. So, and I always wrote, period. I like writing. So, y'all should know that. Remember, from when I gave, when I've given PowerPoint lectures, I write them out myself. So, yeah, I, I love writing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the fact that they start publicly deleting videos and blocking us from going live, um, that's cool because then that just that just, that just just show me more what, what, what the ancestors, how they want me to give it up. And we all know that these books, books are forever. You know what I'm saying? The YouTube channels can come and go. YouTube is a business that can come and go. We know books, books are forever. You get what I'm saying? So put it in a book and let and let the let let it touch the people harder so it can sit there. It's sitting you a little harder when it's in a when it come out of book too. Sitting you a little harder when it comes to a book. Fifteen hundred live viewers. Fifteen hundred live viewers. We ain't started. Y'all ain't missed nothing. Y'all keep coming on in here. Y'all ain't missed nothing yet. We just, we just talking right now. A little having a little. We're just holding a little, a little open discussion right now. All right. Open discussion right now. All right, so <clears throat> first let me start by before before we get into this lecture tonight. 
It's the imperative that I open it up with the right spiritual energy. So first, let me start by saying peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. All right? I'm definitely going to bring the God on with me tonight. Bring the God on. Say peace to the God. Ogun. I got Ogun. I had a rule on here last time. We got a, we got Ogun on here tonight, though. He, he cooling with us. All right? We, we cooling with the energy. Cooling with the energies right now. And no, let me get this understood. No, I do not worship this. We do not worship idols. All right? Any of these, these are only used as representations of, of, a, of a source of energy, which you don't need that to talk to. None of, no ancestors or no Orishas, you can talk to them within. All right? But however, because we are ancient beings, you can use certain symbology to help you further direct that energy. So you can do that too. But let me make that clear. No, don't pray to the Orishas. You pray to nothing but yourself. You can work with the powers of them and you respect the powers of them. All right, but remember, you too are a God. So in humbleness, we are all as one. There is no separation. All right, you are the ancestors and the ancestors are you. And there's many, many different ancestors. You are an ancestor yourself. All right, that's what y'all have to understand. All right, so and I, and as, we keep, as we keep going in this university, uh, I'll keep teaching deeper lessons about that time warp and how it works like that. So, but tonight we're going to talk about liquid gold. So let's stay focused. All right, y'all, it's time that we, we time, it's time to get it in. All right, so let me send the deepest of insight to the ancestors, those 65 and older within the university. I appreciate you for tuning in. All right, let me try to straighten this up a little bit for y'all as best I can get it. Okay. Okay, I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all a lot, Reflection. Um, same thing to, the, to, to, to um, my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. We represent the bridge. We are connecting everything right now. All right? Um, I always tell the elders, I always appreciate them because they talk to their grandkids and their kids and their great-grandkids, and, and they, send them to, they send them into this university. Several, uh, several guys and goddesses that came to the university, and they mama told them. And when they say they mama told them, they are already 40. You get what I'm saying? So, or, or, or they say their grandmama told them, and they 20. Or they say their great grandma told them, and they 14, 15. And they, yeah, we and me and my, like, it's whole families to sit in here and watch this university. Because you got to remember, y'all, we don't really have a university just for us. This the, like, this is for us. So we starting to get more now. You know what I'm saying? You got a couple guys starting to erect their own universities and websites, and that's dope. We need a lot of that. We need more of that. We don't have enough of that. <laughs> we will never have enough of that because we just went through so many years of lies. All right? Everything was taken from us. They told us that our woman wasn't shit. All right, they destroyed. They destroyed our the original God, which is the black woman. They told us that Eve was first, and Adam was first, and that Eve came from Adam rib. You get what I'm saying? Now you see our type of human being, white scientists coming out, um, admitting that they did research and it shows that the oldest living species is the woman, not the man, the woman, and the black woman to be exact. Which I've been telling y'all, and others have been telling y'all. So they're not revealing nothing that, that, that we already don't know. But it's just that the truth is coming out now. We're rising. All right? We are rising. You ain't never seen this many people, this many human beings in your life trying to admit some truth now. It's because we rising. All right? And then the ones that's vibrating high, I'm not talking about them. You got good human beings that's vibrating high, like I told you, that's going to be on our side. I've said this from jump. Then you got a lot of our own that's vibrating low that's going to completely be against us. So that's why I say it's about vibration. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, we got to stay focused on, 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 on in that. Because see, you can, get, you can get trapped in that. You can get trapped in that. You can get trapped in that. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember, it's about vibration. But at the end of the day, you got to know the difference between the, 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 the draconians, the um, reptilians, the Pleiadians, and the, and, the, and the hierarchy human beings. That's a must. That's why I always talk about it. You got to know the difference between lords, extraterrestrials, extraterrestrials, demigods, gods, goddesses. You know, so we're going to be teaching a lot about these species. We're going to be moving quick with these species. I'm going to be doing, we're rolling out all about these different um, different extraterrestrial races. I'm going to be talking a lot about the tribes. Like I was just talking about Chief Chicago. All right. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I got one coming up on Bowlegs, Florida Seminoles. We got to get to all this because this needs to be known. We are moving into aggressive energy right now. We are moving into a phase where... 
the kundalini energy is, is finna start moving out of the root chakra and into the solar plexus. So what you finna start seeing, because right now the kundalini, when it started rising, it had to circulate around the root chakra. Of, uh, root, root chakra. So as a species as a whole, the kundalini is circling around the root chakra. And what you're seeing is this awakening the last two years, well, the last since 2021. You're seeing this great awakening. And that's an awakening, it seems, because we've been living in our root chakra so long. We've been forced by the elites to live in our root chakra as a species so long. So once the kundalini energy starts rising, it, it appears to be this awakening where people get into crystals and we growing our hair, our natural hair back out. And you see, we're going back to our natural looks and we going back to the goddesses and the gods. And then you even see certain human beings vibrating high, but they not on no racist shit. They strictly on some light trying to set the tone right. I'm seeing that too. But guess what? That's because the kundalini energy is rising on the planet. This is something that affects the animals as well. You see it amongst the whales, the dolphins, the birds, the insects, the plant life. All right? You're seeing it. That's the real reason it's going to be so scorchingly hot this summer. Because y'all know we ain't even hit summer yet. Summer is technically supposed to be June 21st, June 20th. But before I keep getting deeper, let me, um, I don't want to forget about the youth. I don't know what y'all think I did. I didn't. I'm sending them deep, the deepest of insight to the youth as well. Because like this Kundalini energy I was just talking about is rising. So we have to move as one. And we have to fully remember who we are. Right now we, we, we starting to. But we still don't remember exactly who we are. And that's okay. We going we gonna to get it. That's my mission. Y'all don't even worry about that. That's my job to make sure y'all remember. It's y'all job to remember. But don't even worry about who gonna make sure. I'm here to help with that. And when it's time to step, we gonna step all the way the way we need to step. The way our ancestors stepped about this shit. You feel me? Like it, you know. Anyway, what's understood doesn't even gotta be explained. You feel what I'm saying? Because we know that everybody amongst us ain't us. No matter who in the university, anybody can pay to get in here. So let's not, we not, we not going to forget it or believe it because we're private, we're private. Remember that, remember that, all right? But, so, now that we out here, we had over, once again, 20, 2,700 live views, which is a lot higher than yesterday. We was at 2,500 total, so we had 2,700. Welcome to the university. I see some people going in and out, so it's going like from 27 to 26 something. It's like bouncing back and forth. So I told you I stopped playing peekaboo. Bring gas in here. You can you can smoke in here. Now you can't text your baby mama and your baby daddy in here. You should have brought their ass to class with you. You should have brought their ass to class with you. All right. All right. So we moving into a situation where they have been attacking the genome and the genomic structure of the original or aboriginal beings of this planet for a very long time. These aboriginal beings of this planet are called black people and Latin, 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 Latinos and um, Africans, all right? And many other names. Anyway. And many other names. However, though, these are all lies. I've been speaking to you all about coronavirus for about a year now, um, awakening the public to the plan of coronavirus. Like, uh, I remember last year back in March, February, I was on my Instagram page warning people about the 5G frequency, frequency of corona. But not just that, um, just warning you about the bigger picture. Of, of what it really meant. Now, when we started the university, all of y'all notice how I had all those videos on the YouTube channel, the university YouTube channel about Corona and YouTube either deleted them or forced me to take them down. And I was even giving um, strikes on the channel because of videos about coronavirus. All right, the one I made with the Michael Jackson thriller was the one that got me my first strike on the channel. Okay, 
Notice how hard they attacked our channel publicly when we spoke about Corona because I was dead on the head about it. Like, there's no such thing as coronavirus. Now, this is my website. We can talk about Corona. There's no such thing as coronavirus. It does not exist. It never did exist. Okay? Coronavirus was all about the Kundalini energy rising and the Nerubians coming back. Now, I haven't really talked too much about the Nerubians, but I'll do lectures on them, but just real brief, like I say, the Nerubians is an advanced extraterrestrial race. They are on our side, and um, they, they, they helped out a lot with the planet in the beginning, like I say. Um, we never had oceans. We did, have, we did have lakes and rivers and valleys. I mean, lakes and rivers, ponds, and seas. We never had oceans. Ocean is, is our ancestor, okay? So, with the Kundalini energy rising on the planet, they knew that they could not stop this mass awakening. This awakening is a is an awakening that takes place within inside of us. Is we you have DEA, deoxyethyric acid. It's imperative that you understand this. If you have carbon in your skin, which means this is what gives you a dark pigmentation. All your so-called Africans, Americans have it. Africans, Jamaicans, Haitians all down in South America, even certain groups of Asians, because they are not actually Asians. Like, it ain't get deep, y'all. I got lectures coming up on them too, but most of your Vietnamese and your Filipinos are us, all right? They, they, are, they are actually Africans who migrated into Asia, all right? Which is why they don't fuck with them. Now, your, 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 your real Asians who are human beings are your Japanese and your Chinese, and these are your popular Asians. These are the ones you see. This is why China and Japan it's so affluent and so wealthy and they fuck with America and they fuck with like, you know, and they try to paint this front like North, like in Korea, right? Koreans also, all right, are a flock of, of, of a subdivision of, of human being that, you know, kind of lightweight. It's deep. I'm going to do lectures on it. I'm going to do lectures on it. All right. Well, let's stay focused. So they already knew the elites knew that this awakening, y'all, is not an awakening that's taking place on the outside. This awakening is going on all of a sudden. And for people that's been spiritually woke forever, we see it. We see it more than anybody because we've been woke forever. A lot of us have been woke for years telling people and they thought we was crazy or we was the black sheep. But then you got a lot of new people that's waking up and that's, that's beautiful too. They didn't know. But you see it. Like, to the point where now we we talking about this publicly and you got a thousand people that are sitting here listening to me talk to... Yeah, some of y'all would have listened 10 years ago, but a lot of, of, of y'all wouldn't have. You get what I'm saying? This awakening is, awakening is part of the Kundalini unlocking. It's the blue flame. It's, it's a real thing. It actually exists. So, I know a lot of people have been hearing this term, Kundalini, Kundalini, Kundalini. Yes, it really exists. The Kundalini energy exists. It is real. It is the energy that the shamans tap into when you see them sitting in fires and and shit like that over in Africa, you know what I'm saying? It's the energy that you tap into when you see a person get super strong when their life on the line or they, or they run so fast, they, they outrun a damn dog or they jump a gate at a level that they wouldn't have ever jumped it if the dog wasn't chasing them. This is all your DEA, but this is also a part of the, the, the Titans in you or the Kundalini energy, all right? The, the 72 Titans that's in you, they only are awoken, they only run off Kundalini energy, which is the blue flame. They don't run off synthetic energy, all right? Most of the energy that they put out here in front of us on this third density is synthetic energy to limit you from the supreme being that you are. You are like Supermans and Incredible Hulks and Wonder Womans. They made all these stories about y'all, all right? And this is who you were in the beginning. This is where the entire Greek mythology comes from. This is where our ancestors were. When you hear about Ogun, when you hear about Oya, when you hear about these different Orishas, right, for example, you hear about these amazing things they did. Well, if you hear about these people from Greek mythology, you hear about these amazing things they did. Even when they talk to you about Jesus, like I told you, Jesus never existed, but the story is real. That's what we was doing. You get what I'm saying? That's how we were living. The story of Jesus is about how we were living and about how they tried to get us to change. You get what I'm saying? Like we were all G that the, the 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 story of Jesus, we all lived that righteous way originally. You know, in that perfect in that perfection. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, they exaggerated about certain things, like when they, you know, his story, when they added in shit, like, you know, just to make it seem like it was a real person, you know. But it was it's more so about an ideology of how we moved as, 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 as a species. And just, a, you know, certain things Jesus taught, like, um, think about it. And Christians, I don't know, like, people consider themselves Christians, but this is how I know most of them never read the Bible, because a lot of Christians don't believe in magic. Like, I got a cousin that's super Jesus crazy still and hit me up like, man, I see you be teaching voodoo. You, be, you into voodoo now. Man, that's weird. And you into magic and all. And he didn't believe in it. And I said, okay, well, you don't got to believe in it. I make, I, I, I manifest every day using magic. You know what I'm saying? So, the, 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 the crazy thing was most Christians, it's like my cousin. Like, they think like that. But Jesus spoke all about magic in the gospel. Seek, and you shall find. Ask, and they shall be given to you. You knock on the door, it will be open for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he spoke all about belief, which is a, a major part of magic, belief. Tapping into your energy, your, your core energy of belief, which is an ancient thing that only... We are the genies that we the only ones that can do this, y'all. The carbonated beings, we the only ones that can do this, y'all. Can't nobody else do this. The animals can't even do this. We the only ones that can genie some shit. Ding! And we can be, ding! Yes, we can do that. Ding! Think it. Ding! Yes. I, look at the university. This was a thought. Look at everything you did in your life. It was just a thought at first. You are a supreme species. You are not natural. You are supernatural. We are not natural beings. We are supernatural beings. That's why they called us the super man. Because they are man. <clears throat> and the things we are capable of, they are not. So they labeled us and our ancestors the superman. They were amazed at this black goddess and what she was able to do. So they wondered about her. They were in amazement. They were baffled. They wondered about her and wondered the wonderment was never fulfilled. To the point where they were so amazed with her, they created a story about her and, and named this our black goddesses and Latino goddesses Wonder Woman. And and and, and 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 painted and painted different pigmentations on them to, to to fool to fool the original beings from who they really are. So the elites know who you are. They work against you every day. So they knew December 21st, 2020, they couldn't stop them portals and planets from lining up. They couldn't stop that. They found out in 1900 that they only had 550 of their years to rule this planet because they thought they had forever. They didn't know that when they did take over this planet, we, ancestors, your ancestors, which is you, us, species, Anunnaki, gods. We put in a counter spell. So basically, they could only rule for so long. You know? You know how they show you the black oracle, Asedra's elbow roll on Thor? How he's able to like see into the future? Where did they get that from? We had that. That same bridge that you see Thor walking down. We had that here too. And we seen them coming. Certain of certain scientists, certain ancestors seen them coming, foreseen them coming. So this counter spell was put in place in the event if they ever did come. Because Certain ancestors, we seen them coming, but we didn't know how they would come. 
when you look in the head in energy cycles, you can never see it crystal clear because energy always can change based upon the user. And that's kind of like a form of supreme of some of advanced supreme sacred geometry. So if y'all don't get that, that's okay. And if you get it, that's even better. I will break that down later. Okay. So in the year 1900, the oppressors seem like, hold on, we only got 550 motherfucking years. Oh, shit. So they tried to escape. They tried to escape. That's when they start shooting missiles up at the, at the, at the, at the, at the sky. Because see, they had put the five layers of sky right there, the CGI technology. But when they first created this, it was no dome over that. Over those layers. Like I say, they thought they was going to be able to land, do what they did, take over the planet, escape, go back and forth. Well, not planet, this realm. Because they only blocked the other realms out. The other eight realms, like Asgard really exists. But they black, they're not white. Thor really exists, but he's black, he's not white. All right? They can't get to us to help us because they got the ram sealed off, the portal sealed off. That's why I taught y'all about rainbows being stargates last November. That's what that was about. I spoke about how rainbows are really stargates, and they and these stargates always show, but the elites time it. They time it because they created time, so they time it. You know what I'm saying? If they know it's gonna be a stargate, that's gonna show. They'll make it rain a day before or a few fake hours before. So now when that rainbow, when that stargate appears, you like, what, what the fuck is that shit in the sky? Going over the whole fucking realm. You like, oh, they knew you're going to see that. Oh, that's a rainbow. You've already been taught that's a rainbow. You get what I'm saying? They, they didn't hit so much in plain sight. Okay. But. When that Stargate opens, that Stargate is a Stargate that leads into the realm of Asgard, which is a realm, one of the nine realms here on this planet of Tiamat or planet Kai. Remember, this, this planet has nine realms. We in the middle, which is what they call Middle Earth in their little Norse mythology. But we in the middle, this is Atlantis. The whole realm is Atlantis. So when these reptilians, these, these, though, our oppressors, these hierarchy human beings and reptilians and Pleiadians, they discover in the 1930, 1940, 1950, that they can't leave. That they can't break past the CGI. That they break past it. It's some type of force field right there that's stopping them from leaving. So they get nervous. They speed up technology. Okay, well, since we can't leave, let's further control and destroy within more. The control. So, you get what I'm saying? So they speed up technology. Here they come with the color TV. Here they come with rolling all this shit over the, through the 50s, 60s, 70s. The, Cause all this shit gives off EMF waves. All right, that's why you wear certain crystals, certain ones, to stop the EMF waves. Certain ones absorb that. That's emitted from the blue light from our cell phones and these iPads and our TVs and these microwaves. And... All right. They have embedded certain files in you through nanobot technology. And then when these files become corrupt, because they're not supposed to be in your body, they have already came up with certain titles. That's cancer. That's sickle cell. That's set. That, that, that don't be that. See what I'm saying? That be those electrical files that they didn't put in you through nanobot technology through certain, certain ones. This is going corrupt. Why? Because we all have DEA. They are giving us synthetic food, fake food, fake sky. Couldn't take our sun away. They pushed one away, but they couldn't hide the second one. Build the fake sky around it. But when they seen that they couldn't leave, they also seen they only had so long. They seen December 21st, 2020. 
They the ones who wrote that bullshit. The Mayans calendar ends on December. They ain't no Mayans make that. The Mayans was us. We never had time, nigga. And the Mayans was way more advanced than they tell than they'll ever tell you in history books. They made time, nigga, and blamed it on on a group of, on a tribe from us called the Mayans, who were all carbonated beings. Once you realize the Indians didn't exist and that all your current black Indian black current day people who are African Americans, Latin Americans, and have carbon all over the planet, these are the people that was the Indians. Over here, you realize something deep. Oh, okay. The Mayans. Yeah. This is all us. All our people. Before tribes, we was just gods. But after the, we fell in frequency, we, we took on all these different tribal names. But we still moved as one. We wasn't warring with each other. None of that. That's more lies they tell us in history. They make it seem like certain Indian tribes was warring with each other. No, we wasn't warring with each other. They, those are lies to make you believe that his way of war is something we always had with each other. No, we was not. We never had. What what we want with each other for? We didn't have no money system. We gave each other everything we needed. In this earth, the the, the planet supplies abundantly. So even after we fell in frequency, what we war? What what is we going to war for? Fuck what they told us in the history books. Use your brain. Everybody got land. All them Indian tribes had their own land, their own way of living. Let them tell it, right? Then they say they went to war for, for certain women or they went to war. No. They go, we only war when they came. And even when we fell in frequency, we were still like had our own little land. So it was like it wasn't that bad. But then when they came over trying to take that little bit of land that we still had, then that's when the war came. More war came. The first war was when they... Hit us from inside and we fell in frequency. We literally fell. We fell so far in frequency. We lost our colors and everything. All right. So this all had to do with coronavirus. Stuff. It's history. Because they seen it December 21st when these planets aligned. This sun is, is going to start force feeding huge amounts of celestial energy to these black people and Latino people. And when it does that, it's going to shatter their pineal gland because they're they not used to that high level of frequency. And by shatter, by once it shatter the pineal, it's going to basically pop it open and ba force it open. That's why it seems like so much shit is being revealed because everybody's eyes is being forced the fuck open. So, boom, these downloads force everybody's pineal gland open. All right? So now I'm going to oh, what the fuck? Because niggas like this. Then the ancestors come, boom. Everybody like, oh, shit, what the fuck? All oh, this been going on then. George Floyd riots kick off. All type of shit start kicking off. Yeah, motherfuckers waking up. Right, yeah. Motherfuckers, oh, well, what the fuck? Hold on. Right, motherfuckers do. But when that happened, what that do? Mm, unlock the kundalini. Now it's, it's heat. It's the blue flame. It's the warmest flame. It's so hot, it's going to rise. And they got to unlock through every chakra. But we are all connected. That's why I say peace reflection. There is no disconnect. They got to stink and we separated. But no. That all the pain you feel, I feel. All the pain I feel, y'all feel. We that connected, y'all. And even with our animals and our plants. But they make us think that we are not. No, we are. That's why we so full of... Get what I'm saying? And we think it's because our auntie, our mama, our baby daddy, this and that, what we grew up. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with what has happened to only your planet as a whole. Oh, as a whole. Since, since from the very beginning, since they landed. Your soul remembers these truths. So now your soul is, remember, is remembering this shit. And the elites can have that. So what they do, they wanted you in the house. They didn't want you in that sun. So what they do, they spit up their weather, their winter maker technology to try to make it cold to send out type of blizzards. They created a pandemic called the coronavirus and told everybody to wear masks. Why? So that you can't do this right now. Because right now, everybody, we breathing in all this stardust. Every day right now, we don't even know it you because you don't see it. So you're like, you don't know it. No, you're breathing this shit in. And every day you're waking up more and more and more because of it. Get as much sun as you can get. Go out there. But ain't your regular sun that's in the sky. That's planet Nibiru. You get what I'm saying? And planet Nibiru is a planet and a sun and a spaceship. So when it's out at times, you can't tell the difference from the regular sun or Nibiru. <laughs> Facts. The only way you can tell the certain days that the sun be so fucking bright, you can't even look. That's when it's Nibiru. That be the... It's Nibiru. 
You get what I'm saying? This is what's going on. And they're not telling you this. They're not telling you this. Cloak ships, planet being surrounded, all this going on, right? So what they do? They want all the carbonated beings in the motherfucking house. Up Corona, everybody go in. That's what that was about. That's all it was about. That's all it was about. You get what I'm saying? But what they forgot, though, is it don't matter if we in the house. We ancient beings. The sun is shining 24-7. We connect 24-7. We connect telepathy. We don't need nothing can stop. We're ancient. We're everything. We are the creators of all. You got to understand this. So even though they got us in the house, niggas is still receiving downloads from the sun. This is meant to be. They can't stop it. That's what they didn't know. And what you see, George Floyd riots. Shit hitting the fan. Boom. Okay. Now, for example, you got somebody like other intellects that's been talking, but then now you see more intellects coming out. For example, why? Because the Kundalini is rising. So it's forcing so many people that know shit to start speaking out. Then go over Shah Jamal. Now I step up more as so I speaking out. Letting the answer channel them through, letting them flow through this vessel. Right? Because the warrior in me to fight, I already know. But to teach y'all, I need the ancestors help to do that. I know what I need to do and what's going on, but to be able to articulate it back to y'all, that's all the ancestors help doing it. You get what I'm saying? So, boom, they push me out there. Boom. Pushing others out there, boom, boom. Pushing y'all out there, boom, boom, boom. That's why it's a, it's a movement. It's not no just Rashad Jamal or this person, that person, or no. It's, we are moving as a whole. It's an energetic thing. So the elites had to come with the corona. Which was the code for crown of the sun. Corona literally means crown of the sun if you look up the etymology of corona. So it's a virus from the sun. The sun doesn't give us a virus, so you should have already known who was going to hurt. Human beings. The reptilians, Pleiadians, the hierarchy humans, and definitely the ones that's even poor and middle class. All right? Because although they have nothing to do with it, they still have that DNA. And the attack is on the DNA in the soulless beings. So that's why it forced a lot of human beings to pick a side. Like, hey, Either you're going to have to rise in frequency and accept that these black people are the original ones that created the planet and it was taken from them, or you're going to drop and you're going to disintegrate and you're going to go through spontaneous combustion. And that's what's going on right now. All the white people that took the high raw route and decided to vibrate high and they, they work with crystals and they smoke and they meditate and they're not racist and they understand that true hidden history, they vibrating high and they, they, they moving through with it. And they'll be granted souls down the road. But what you'll know, what you'll start to notice is you just it's been going on if you ain't been noticing. A lot of a lot of human beings are dying off. If you look at them, go when you out in public, you can tell they're dying. Just look at them. Just look, it's the sun, it's the energy. And this is gonna keep going and going and going. You haven't seen nothing yet, because guess what? They haven't launched they for UFO invasion yet. It started, but man, listen, they ain't did nothing yet. They finna play with this motherfucking sky so hard. What? And we gonna turn up the frequency harder. It's finna get real. That's what I'm like, y'all. It's finna get so real. You want to be showered in crystals. You want to be in meditation. You want to understand how to protect yourself in the spiritual warfare. We in the middle of spiritual warfare right now. It's battlefield. It's going down right now. In the astros and everything. It's, it's, it's going down. And even when you turn on the news, you see it. The whole system is imploding. They not going to say it. They trying to hold on. They trying to make everything like it's still... That's why I say jets. Just enjoying this shit. That's the ship go down. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then it's a whole better life that's waiting for you. You know, so that's really what's going on because none of these carbonated beings did anything wrong. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of your current day new age on human beings that are, are middle class and poor that are not racist, they ain't do nothing wrong because you got them out there, right? But still, they species did something wrong. And they and they body won't be able to take the heat from this frequency as it rises. A lot of y'all probably ears been ringing, been having headaches, been feeling lightheaded, and been able to eat as much as you used to. Barely want to eat like that because your body is being upgraded. We are receiving upgrades, crystallized bodies. We're moving back to a higher frequency. We're moving on a super love vibration, which is the pure vibration of pure intent of understanding, which is real love, understanding, not that devil. Love, not that entity. You feel me? That's what we going. That's what we going with it. That's what we going with it. You get what I'm saying? Even the streets are starting to calm down with the violence. A lot of the violence you're seeing now is mercenary groups riding around keeping the shit going to keep the 
the illusion going that we all doing all this killing each other. Man, a lot of motherfuckers is waking up right now and preparing them pipes for who the real enemy is. People ain't slow. People ain't slow. People ain't sleep like that. Motherfuckers is waking up at a, at a, at a, at a different rate right now because the Kundalini is rising, right? So they had their hit us with coronavirus in 2020. And I try to warn a lot of people. A lot of people got caught up in it. They got caught up in believing that bullshit. You get what I'm saying? And I told people the purpose. Listen, we are rising. Your DEA is being unlocked. So you are being given back all your electrical energy that was stripped from you. Your aura is being re-strengthened. You are being birthed at all the celestial. All you supposed to be breathing certain celestial properties that they that was stripped out the out the air. Okay, this is being put back in the atmosphere. You're breathing this now. And this is changing you on the inside back into what you really is. This change takes place on the inner first, y'all. It's happening on the molecular level. You shit changing. And they don't want it to change. So they corona, stay in the house. Gave you the mask. Had motherfuckers breathing their own carbon. Remember, we this didn't affect human beings. It's only affect us. You breathing your carbon back in and out. Too much. Now, yeah, you can put a mask on for a little bit. Because guess what? Before Corona, people put masks on it. Yeah, so you can. But they have to wear it all day. And consistently, over a certain amount, uh, amount of time, you're pushing all that carbon back into your body. Carbon is the base from which all life forms. So it's very strong. You're going to rupture your insides. You're going to hurt your avatar because your carbon is supposed to emit from you, not come back in you. They knew that. So they got motherfuckers with masks on. All right? Now, and they told motherfuckers, go in the house. They didn't expect motherfuckers to do the George Floyd shit. They didn't expect motherfuckers to stop. Because technically, Corona is still going. Niggas ended Corona on their own. Niggas came outside on their own. Niggas just came. N nigga, they never got on TV. They didn't. They never got on TV or nothing. I, I said this all the time. They never got on TV. I was like, look, y'all, Corona's over. Never did they say that. Never. Nigga, we decided it was over. Niggas just came out like, man, man nigga, y'all got us fucked up. Nigga, we out here today. We back outside, y'all. We ain't, they tripping. Now, we'll work with y'all. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to close some shit early, y'all could do that. But niggas, is we back outside. Y'all tripping. Y'all had us in the crib 30, that shit lasted. It was 30 good days for what nobody outside like that. Niggas had, they, and they tried us. They tried to make motherfuckers have the papers and everything. They was trying to see how far they can go with it. And it was working at first. Man, day 30, boy, and see, you seen them white people. See, the white people who I be trying to get to, I be trying to talk to. Hey, listen, y'all ain't in, dog. You seen them out there. We fuck Corona. We need our job. Right, yeah, right. Why you want to ride around and think you're privileged? Think you're privileged because you're a third generation Sanders. Listen, nigga, they spooky, splat corona on your ass. You law that effect. You didn't know that, yeah, they fucked the black people up, but they were still fucking up y'all little checks and their little monetary system. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit runs deep. You didn't make the cut. You get what I'm saying? You, you're not in. If you if you go to work and you white, you're not in, dog. You're a high, bar, bar, high, higher Negro. That's all you could ever be. I don't know why y'all don't. I don't know why they don't accept that, y'all. Because, you know, this is a university, man. If you think it ain't a white, we have to guess. We open to all. We can't be just to us. Then, they, then they'll try to sue us and shut us down. No, we open to everybody. You want to learn true history? We ain't, we ain't against nobody. We speak real facts in here, though. You get what I'm saying? Facts. Y'all ass is out there with us. <laughs> in Corona now. In the lockdown now. Yeah. Sally, Jim. Well, maybe now y'all ass uh, get fall in line, get behind us, niggas. We finna kick a lot of ass. All that old high wild shit y'all be doing, we gonna need that energy. But use it for these motherfuckers. We going to war, nigga. Gear up now. Gear up the saddle. Get old saddle. Get old Annie. Get everybody. We're going now. Saddle up. Like that's how it need to be, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause motherfuckers, anything else is is is, is it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make decimal points. It doesn't, it doesn't round up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't round up. Like, you feel me? Yeah, so let's keep the illusion going. We talk about liquid, liquid gold here still. So, they force feed this illusion of everybody's going to die from this pandemic disease. 
right? Negroes fall for it. Harvard graduates first. Do you see how it go? The first Negroes to fall for it was the motherfuckers who got the biggest degrees. Everybody with the master's degrees, it was the first motherfuckers to fall for it. Pay attention. The last motherfuckers to fall for it was the motherfuckers that at least graduated high school. Hmm. Hmm. You see how the 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 more you the higher you go in their school, the more indoctrinated you become to the fact where you ain't got no motherfucking brain, and they then they reward you for not having a brain by giving you a master's degree. Here you go. You've been a good Negro for eight years. You've been a good Negro. You have been properly indoctrinated. You've went through what sixteen twenty years. Of our indoctrination, you good house Negro, you, you take that master's degree, you wave it around in front of your little Negro friends, they'll feel like you're accomplished, because amongst us, you'll always be a Negro, but you can wave it amongst, because it don't matter to them. Nigga, they gave it to you, they printed it up. So if you think though they uncle printed it up, so if you think you having that master's degree, it means shit. Motherfucker got their master's degree. Soon as they said everybody gonna die from corona, but we got a we got a we got a plan, we got a vaccine. Nigga, we niggas ain't never needed a vaccine for shit. Y'all got one for this. Niggas with degrees ain't think about that like that, y'all. You get what I'm saying? Not them Harvard students. You know, you can tell them Harvard's nothing. Boy, them Harvards, I know. I disputed with a couple Ivy League's finest. I went to yell. You're not going to tell me. I'm not going to listen to somebody on the internet about the virus. You're not fucking Dr. Phil. Just a fucking Negro on YouTube talking shit out the side of your goddamn black neck. Fucking cocksucker, you. You know, and then they took their goofy ass down there, got hit up. You know what they... They in there under the Ike. You know what I'm saying? They getting their Ike on when they in that motherfucker. I'm not with no needles. Period. So you lost me with injecting shit in me. If you wanted me, you should have made that shit like an edible or something. Then you might have had that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, we got these edibles. If niggas take these edibles, you niggas gonna be good. But you wouldn't have had me because I knew. But I'm just saying, y'all know what I'm saying. You feel me? I think I think you could have got, but when you came with the needle, like ah no no, that's too much like shooting up. It's too much like shooting up for me. You get what I'm saying? What we what we what we doing while we fucking with veins and shit, dog? I know what these veins is for. These veins connect messages. They part. They they connect. They flow. Amino acids send messages from ancestors. What you fucking with? What you fucking with the trajectory of the message flow? Why you want to fuck with my flow? You see what I'm saying? And see, they never, they never taught us true, true. They never taught y'all. know, I feel y'all laughing and shit. They never taught us true science in school. So you know, you would, you would, you can't blame niggas. Now the niggas is the niggas that graduated high school and got a couple of years of college and maybe bad. But you know, the Negroes. It didn't matter what school you went to too, because you might have got you, you might have got your four years into a community college. That's completely different. Then four years at a state college, and that's completely different than four years at a university. And that's completely different than four years at a HBCU. And that's completely different than four years at a Ivy League. So, you know, they got their little levels to their indoctrination. You see what I'm saying? And then the more indoctrinated you was, motherfuckers in there getting hit up.
Those motherfuckers in there getting hit up.